and welcome back to another episode of our battle tech. Uh, my name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our Swan Sun campaign where we are in financial trouble. We only got 290,000 left and 270 are due uh, within a week. So we gotta make this work guys. We still got plenty of uh, time left and we also got uh, well experienced or better experienced mech warriors now plus freshly repaired mechs. So let's jump right into the contact, uh, contracts, shall we? The first one is for a million. And I was pondering if, she, uh, if we should take that little hit on the pirate organization's uh, faction. I think I will do it because we're short on money. It's not optimal to lose five, but there are two other missions where we can upgrade our reputation with the pirates. So might as well want to do that Ooh, we got a cutting fract oh well okay things have just changed because we got a free mag if that is the case we might want to just go all out and take the blackjack the vindicator and the fire starter all kind of brawler type uh, mechs and the cataphract will be our main shield, so to speak, because we're not getting anything out of it anyways. Might as well use it. Hogbite will be the one that is tanking for the group. So without further ado, let's jump into the mission. That's a good one. I like it. I like free max. Good. Time for a test drive. And all we need to do is destroy the, pi uh, the pirates' forces. Cataphrag, let's take a look. We got a couple of medium lasers, a PPC and an AC-10. Well, that's not bad at all. 880 armor. Coordinates received. So might as well use it. There is a future evac zone. Okay, fair enough. Trying to get all the way over to this forest to minimize the damage that we're potentially taking. Good, and Hogbite leads the charge. Enemy detected. No problem. On my way. Everybody else makes it all the way to the forest. Are you kidding me? Right on top of us. Okay. So the only logical thing is we're definitely going to move back. Because elsewise we're fighting against eight enemies at the same time. The other option is to stay up here, use the high ground to our advantage, and show them who's boss. Well, that here could be interesting. All right, Hawkwide is going in. And he's going in hard. All weapons committed. That poor spider just learned why evasion blips are important. Detected. Holy shit, he kept a cap wreck. Pulls a nasty punch. All right, moving, moving. How is that here? That's outside Roger of the that. dangerous zone. Taking the shot. And we got one of the enemies already down. Fantastic. Got a Wolverine over there. That I really actually don't want to deal with.
Instead, let's move over here. There's a locust and a javelin. Both of them are not necessarily the type of targets that you want to hit. Got it. But it's okay. At least it removed a blip. Commander. Perfect. Reaper moves up here. Let's make sure we're not wasting any heat on this guy. That was a solid hit. Cool. No percentage chance to hit, but that was a good hit. And now this has just turned into a whole new really really uncomfortable situation so what we're going to do is we're taking any chance that we can get to simply move out of the danger zone because you never want to be in the danger zone Fantastic. I'll even take that one because it's so well protected uh, with that stone. We have um, an interrupted line to hit, but the small weapons are still going to be supreme. And hopefully we can really hit the javelin. Well, that was good. Not too bad. Good. They are starting to hit one another and us, so it's really a free-for-all at this point. They just dropped, uh, so they are trying to entrench themselves. Vindicator. Could move all the way down here, and that's exactly what we're going to do. On top, we're aiming into the back of the Jenner. See you later, alligator. One less target. One less target. Fantastic. That was a good move. Cataphract takes some damage. It's not unexpected. Griffin is just trying to move back as well. Move back here. I think we're really just moving back here. That's a decent place because it's pretty difficult to have someone in your back from there. And let's start to hit on the Griffin. Targeting for an alpha strike. Full throttle. Good. Cataphract moves into the water, cooling down and really taking that nice, nice uh, defensive posture. Positioning means a lot. Careful. They're around back. You got nothing, you hear me? Positioning go. means a lot. Move all the way up to here or to here. Yep, 
This is three dots plus we're being in the forest. Don't I think that's the right uh, that's the right call. Let's use Vigilance so that we can act first next turn and we got 40% damage reduction. I got a feeling that they will go for All Lily. Very nice hit on the Griffin. Fantastic. The enemy also starts to take one another, <clears throat> which is good. Thanks to our 30% reduction, each of the machine guns dealt almost no damage, right? Good. Let's move into the back of the Griffin. And let's hit his rear. Like really good. You got the drop on your bell. Not sorry. Oh, and he's getting mauled from the front as well. <laughs> That Griffin has a totally bad day. Like, it's one of those days where aye, aye. he went to work and he just didn't know how bad it is going to be. But believe me, my friend, it is going to be, like, murderously bad. Good, we're continuing. I want to kill this Griffin. Reaper is in a solid position here. And we're continuing to hit his back. Critical hit. Yeah, that's one blip. Good enough for me. All weapons committed. Fantastic. The Griffin is quasi dead. Well, we could position ourselves here, right? Uh. This here would allow us to attack the spider from behind. I think that's what we're going to do. Creates a bit of heat, but I think it'll be worth it. This be good. Want some more, huh? All right, the spider is almost down. The griffin at this point is a skeleton. And we should continue to Damage minimal. try to keep both of them fighting one another and not both of them fighting us. Oh, that spider has a bad day. The only potential option is melee at this point. Oh, yeah, or just running away, that of course is always an option. Good, Reaper moves back. And let's just kill this guy. Fantastic. Okay, the Wolverine here runs out of steam. Affirmative. 
for moving further back and let us try to kill the spider here spider is just hanging on a thread Hawkbite with his massive power potential might just target the Wolverine for now. Very nice. Go through all of the armor. The fire starter takes too much damage and unfortunately Lily got injured now. That means she will need to be out of uh, service for a bit. Moving back. And let's just kill the spider here. Good. So that means the drop lance is down to that one light mech. But we gotta face those guys now. Receiving you. And I think I'll Hmm, how do we do that? Vindicator still is in a good shape. Might as well move into the forest, to be honest. Aye, aye. Locus here definitely is annoying, so we're going to start with it. Standing by. On my way. Reaper is moving over in the hopes of getting some uh, somewhere to the water line as well good that reduces go our enemies even further and luckily he's attacking the cataphract which is exactly what we wanted Armor yeah that's Internal fine damage. thank you for the warning Let's take the PPC off and go. Engaging target. Wolverine is almost down. Commander? Good, we can reserve and let's yes, go commander. for the wolverine shall we moving into the water with reaper that means we can alpha strike let's go all right heavy heavy damage fantastic bradford's moving up Thirty-five. Well, that might be enough. That hit something good. Waiting for orders. Right, Commander. I start and nicely moves up. There is a chance that we hit the torso. Or a leg. Or nothing. On me. I'm taking internal damage. Good. 
Good. Time to hit this guy. Fantastic. Their strongest asset just left the uh, battlefield and we're fighting against two light mechs. Yeah, that did nothing. Good to go. Good time for us to clean up. Fantastic. That gets us in range and we can fully unload. Taking the shot. Oh boy, that was a nice alpha strike. I really like our new loadout. We're dealing a lot more damage than before. Affirmative. And in the water, we're not even suffering the heat problems that we normally have. So we can stay in the fight. On my way. Good. Time to hit this guy. The last primary target is down. Yeah, we're not evacking. No, 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 no. Hell yeah, that was a good hit. Waiting for orders. Got it. Commander. All right, the guy's almost down. Moving out. Ah, uh, still not down. <laughs> so close. Moving out. All right, Reaper is trying her best. Let's go. All out of AC-10 ammo. Engaging target. Yep, and. We're still not done with him. Fire starter moves up. And full alpha strike. Couple of LRMs and that's all the javelin has got left. I copy. Commander. Surprisingly sturdy, I might say. We'll go. Roger that. Engaging target. Good, finally. Well, that took a while. Enemy mech destroyed. Mission successful. Fantastic. We even got the bonus to kill uh, the extra lance. That should give us plus 10 or plus 25% extra money. Good, so bad news. Minus 5 um, on the local pirate organization. That's bad. We really typically don't want to do that. Good news, though. We got 1.2 mil almost. Only got slight injuries with Lily. Got no salvage, but our money problems are finally like fixed that's good i like it i will continue to uh, try to do missions here like without repairing immediately the idea is always to do as many missions as i can before being absolutely forced to repair So yeah, some of the mechs are not in a pristine condition. 
but at least our financial outlook is good 1.4 mil uh, can't really argue with that in terms of mech warriors let's take a look here What's up, boss? very good hopbite is now 4444 which means he can finally go for one of those special abilities the very slow experience really shows normally after so many missions we would already have kind of our special abilities but that's not the case at the moment let's also take a look not that i want to get something but a few heavier mechs would be fantastic orion would be very good marauder is a fantastic mech yeah but unfortunately really not much that we can do we got to deal with the mechs that we have at least for the solar system and yeah save uh, save up some money but we still got more contracts to go so in the next episode i will probably do one of uh, the pirate missions and this time we can go for more salvage that mission here looks interesting highly interesting because we can salvage a bit so maybe i should actually go for that mission first this here is also a salvage rich mission like 16 is good that's another salvage rich mission here so yeah maybe we're just going to do some more salvage missions for now because the reality is we will need some heavier mechs and some better equipment it's not that our mechs are bad but you have seen the last uh, mission where we finally had like a heavy mech there's a substantial upgrade in terms of firepower and let's also not kid ourselves even within the medium uh, weight class the blackjack is not particularly known as kind of the the best uh, or heaviest mech uh, similarly the vindicator both of them are rather starter ish mechs so they are just a little bit heavier than light mechs so the only mech that really punches more than their weight class is potentially the fire starter and to a degree due to the EC, uh, ecm system the raven so we're blessed to have those uh, two in our roster but with our medium mechs we could we definitely could do better uh, than what we're currently doing but we gotta trust uh, to find something that is really worth our time. Anyways, that brings us to the end of uh, this episode. Pretty much half an hour uh, today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the content, feel free to leave a comment and a like down below and see you in our next episode. Bye bye.